congratulations on your new Nightscape CCD camera. Included is Astro FX, our powerful, easy to use camera control and pre-processing program. I'm Warren Keller and I'll show you how to follow the tabs to snap, stack, stretch, smooth, sharpen, saturate, and share great astro images. An astro images histogram must be stretched. The histogram is a graph of the way the pixels are distributed. Unlike bright terrestrial subjects with natural contrast, the starting point of astro images by nature has most pixels compressed together. This spike contains all the good stuff and must be redistributed or stretched over the majority of the graph to give it the contrast we saw in the daylight image. Stretch lets you perform nonlinear stretching with DDP. It's a powerful and easy way to brighten your images and give them contrast while protecting detail. You can also add a bit of sharpening. No sharpening turns off the high pass filter. Emphasize fine detail sharpens the image using high pass when DDP is applied. Mid-level selection chooses the breakpoint for DDP. Auto lets AFX choose it for you. Mouse gives you control. When you click the button, it brings up a bubble with instructions. Drag the green marker to the desired breakpoint on the histogram or double click anywhere. Start conservatively, just to the right of the initial point. Hit apply. You should see dim detail brightened and highlights preserved in the brightest areas. Hyperbolic curve lets you perform additional DDP-like safe stretches to bring out fainter detail. After DDP, you can move the slider between less and more and apply it as many times as you like. If you don't like the result, click undo and try again. You can also perform additional stretches here by dragging up, down, and left, right, or directly in the histogram window. AFX will apply these changes when the image is saved, so be sure to keep a pristine master before any processing. Smooth is the clean look of an astro image after noise reduction when the ugly grainy look of random electronic noise is reduced an image can be further enhanced. Selective smoothing lets you slide left for less low pass noise reduction and right for more. Shoot for a level of attractive smoothness, short of an unrealistic plastic look. Level selection works like stretches mid-level breakpoint. Auto allows AFX to apply smoothing adaptively. Background sky and dimmer areas are smoothed more aggressively than brighter ones. You can take control of which brightness levels to smooth by picking mouse and double clicking a point in the histogram or by dragging the green line to the brightness level you want. This dark portion at left represents shadows. The white portion at right represents highlights and midtones are in the middle. Hit apply. If you don't like the result click undo. When content, you might consider saving this version before moving ahead to the next tab. Using a sharpening filter increases the contrast between dark and light tones, creating the illusion of increased sharpness. 
Astro FX uses a high pass filter to enhance detail in astronomical objects. Try to reach a point where the image pops, but isn't harsh looking. You can let AFX automatically choose which brightness levels to enhance. Midtones will be sharpened. Stars will be more gently enhanced, but background sky and dimmest areas will be left unsharpened. Use the auto setting for both mid and high level selections. Choose how much sharpening to apply with the corresponding sliders. Choose less or more for midtones and highlights. For more control, use your mouse. The pop-up balloons will help you along. Drag the green marker on the histogram where you want sharpening to begin. Brightness levels below won't be sharpened. Drag the red marker where you want diminished sharpening to start. All levels in between get sharpened at the mid-level slider setting. All levels above the red marker will be sharpened at the high-level slider setting. You can also double-click in the histogram to set levels. Apply the filter. Don't like it? You know what to do. Click Undo and try again. You can consider saving this version before moving ahead.